Okay, so this is the um, game test with uh, the Deem and uh, Tapu Koko as well. So which cards I just uh, decided to remove. So I just decided to remove one Mimikyu and one copy of Mystery Treasure, which will not shake that consistency too much, in my opinion. So unfortunately for me, the opening hand contained no basic Pokemon, meaning that I'm going to need to refresh my hand and grab pretty much fresh hand with seven new cards. Hopefully there is going to be much more resources and there is plenty of good resources. Kind of like this opening hand. There's a Swablu and a double Drampa with double energy and copycat. But there's also Tate and Lisa just in case if my opponent will have less than five cards in his hand. All right, we're going to face up a possibly Oh, possibly Metagross deck? Maybe. We shall see. Okay, so Mountain Carnant. I guess I'm gonna need to be pretty smart here. Pretty damn smart. Oh, copycat turn one for eight sounds like a very nice idea. Okay, I'm not gonna try to remove M Mountain Carnant yet from play. No doubt about that. I'm just looking forward to hit my opponent with my Dragon Wisdom and pass. So I'm gonna pretend that, that I'm not playing. Actually, I spoil him that I'm running Trubbish and Garbodor. Um, but we're, we're just gonna keep the Garbodor for the late game. We're just gonna try to focus playing Garbodor for the late game. We're, we're just gonna be perfectly fine with that. I am. I mean, he have plenty of cards in his hand. I'm wondering what else he have. There is a Steven Resolve, so he just decided to grab himself any three cards. All right, interesting decision. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have one Altarian in play, which will allow me to take the knockout against this Vulpix. That's a very important. So without using my fill lower, I'm gonna have a pretty good chance to cause a lot of problems to my opponent. But I'm also going to attach one energy to my other Drampa. And then we're just going to go with Tate and Lisa so we can refresh him. I wish I had another copycat for like 11 cards or something like that, but I didn't. Mm, couple more Altarios. That's insane. All right. We're just going to go with the Dragon Wisdom. Unfortunately, no sign of the energy, but so far we can go for the one hit knockout. Nearly one hit knockout against those Beldums. Okay, I'm not sure what he took in his hand. His hand is huge, absolutely. There's like 12 cards in his hand at this moment. Oh, there's a Metagross with a Meteor Mash that can hit for 60 plus. And another Steven Resolve. So right now he can just keep throwing those Steven Resolves and uh, taking pretty much whatever he needs without ending his turn. That's insane. Probably, possibly, he can set a couple more Metagrosses in play. Actually, not Metagrosses, but Beldums on the bench. So, there's the first one. There's the second one. And there's the third one, maybe? Or maybe not. Anyways, we're gonna keep Garbodor for later. So far, he had two item cards. Minus 20. Yeah, okay, Modern Cornet for energy. Meteor Mesh. Meaning that his Meteor Mesh next turn will does 120. So, with that being said, let's see how many damage we can do. So far, 80, 100, 120, 100, 120, 140, 160. So, gonna be short for like a 10. Gonna be short for 10. Damn it. Still, 160 is a lot, really. It is, and the good thing is that I already have a price it went. Oh, there's a max potion. Okay, my friend. So, I didn't see this coming, that's for sure. So, 10 max potion actually caused a lot of problems. This is going to be Steven Resolve, probably for mm, maybe two more rare candies. I think it's going to be a good time to start putting those Garbodors in play. 
mean, obviously it is. I could put in a flight. So will this be a Metagross GX or just a regular Metagross? Just a regular Metagross. All right. And one Matang. So right now he can hit for 120. That's not good. But the good thing is the Tapu Koko can actually absorb resistance and preserve knockout, prevent my opponent from taking the knockout here, which is a very important thing. But I'm gonna need to get obviously oh nice. There is a Naz ball. So if I have another Altaria and I actually have it. Hmm, I'm gonna risk. I'm gonna risk. I'm gonna risk actually. I'm not gonna put Garbodor yet in play. Tate and Lisa. Where's my copycats when I need them? No sign of the double core's energy, but at least there's a mountain corner that can be removed with that field blower play. We're gonna field blow that from play. And obviously. If he have Guzma, and his hand is insanely big, he can hit for something. But if he don't have, I'm actually going to put that Drampa in play. I know I'm not going to hit. I know I'm going to lose Drampa, but still I'm going to hit for 80 and attach one of my energies um, onto my Altaria. So even with Altaria, I can apply some pressure to my opponent. Next turn can be a big one because with Kukui I can go for the one hit knockout. There's another max potion play. All right, so right now, can he have another Steven result? Wow, give me that copycat. I wish I have Judge as well. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so. Double Core's energy is a way to go, so I can hit with my Tapu Koko. That's literally the only thing I can do right now. Hmm, Flying Pen. So that can reduce the damage for 30. All right, this Metagross is very hard to play against. I'm not gonna lie, it's really, really hard to play. It. So I'm gonna get myself another Drampa in play. And another Altaria will just hit the ground as well. And the problem for me is the fact that I don't have Guzma, so I can't do too much, but still. Still, I need to keep applying pressure. That's the only way to go here. I mean, Dragon Wisdom for 70. Um, again, energy will go down to this Altaria, so even Altaria can attack next turn. But without Guzma, I'm just losing this game. Not feeling comfortable at all. And there's another Max Potion play. Okay, so right now he have three max potions in the discard pile and three rare candies, and that's six item cards. Still not even close for the one hit knocker with the Garbodor. I can still go for just like a hundred. Um, I'm hoping for that double core synergy so badly. I simply need it. I can't get it. That's pretty frustrating at this moment, but at least I think it's gonna be a perfect time to go with Trabish right now in play. Also gonna shuffle back some Pokemons in my deck. So that's gonna be triple Drampa Shuffle. Also will put that Shroud of Punishment and good time to go with a copycat. Hopefully I can get that the double course energy. Ugh, I didn't get it. Oh, that's so frustrating. Really, it is frustrating. Um, didn't get double course energy. I can hit with my peers. No, 
aren't going to be super effective, just 70, but still an external carburetor can finish the job. And from there on, there's the Ultra Bull, which might be for top Lele GX. No, he just discarded one top Lele GX from his hand. Okay, but at least another Metagross. At least I managed to get some of the item cards. So it's going to be much more easier for me right now to just one hit knock of those Metagrosses. Carbador and there's a Cynthia plate. So how many item cards did he have right now? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 160. Nine. 180. So I still don't have enough for the one-hit knockout. Still don't have enough for the one-hit knockout. But with the metal pen, I will have more than enough. All right. I think I can come back from this position. I think I should be just perfectly fine. Okay, I need energy. And I did get one. Perfect. Plus, I also have Guzma, so that's important. Trash Lange dealing 160, 130 actually, because of the metal pen. Never mind, right now he have 10 item cards in the discard pile. That's just insane. That's a 200. So even with another metal pen, I can go for like uh, one hit knockout, or at least I should be able. Actually, no, minus 20, that's like minus 50, so not gonna be enough. All right, one Lily. So what we can do, we can play um, Guzma, for example, and uh, yeah, but we don't need to play Guzman, actually. So let me see. Let me just count it. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he actually have 10 of them. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw that mystery treasure from play in order to get another Garbador. So... Late game trouble for my opponent. Alright, so if he don't have Guzman, he's not going to be in a position to knock me out. Don't need to attach my energy. So, Garbador dealing 180. I'm taking one prize, which is a rescue stretcher. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, without Guzma, my opponent can't take the knockout against my Garbador, and basically that means only one thing. He have only two more Metagrosses left in play, and this is where I just managed to completely return. Because he can hit for 60, and then basically he can next turn knock one of my Arbadors, but if he can set another Metagross in play, then I'm actually going to lose the game. But there's also plenty of energies in his discard pile. Four of them. There's a top Lele play. Ooh, this might be a game loss for him. He just wants to get that Guzma in play. He really wants to close the game up by knocking my Garbador on the bench. No, there's the Cynthia play. Okay, so basically this means only one thing. If I played two Guzmas, I played only one Guzma, so I should have more than enough resources for the game here. I just need to get that Guzma in play, no doubt about it. Okay, there's a Rangru. In between turns, he's going to take some pressure by the Shrine of Punishment. And there's a Metal Flying Pen. Okay, that can reduce the damage significantly. So one, two, three, four. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so 220, that was a big mistake with the rescue stretcher, 220, minus metal flying pen, and resistance is going to be exactly 170, so he did a huge mistake, which might cost him a game right now, because he used that metal flying pen. 
just my personal opinion. Definitely need to get rid of the energy. I definitely need to play Tate and Lisa to get Kuzma for a game. Oh, there is no sign of the Guzma. Which doesn't mean that I'm not going to be in a position to get one. So, Trash Lange, I'm hitting for 240 because of the resistance. And there's the Guzma for the game. All right. So, that should be it. A big comeback with a Guzma. That's just insane. From nowhere, I managed to win this game. So that's the GG. And you can see the power of, power of Garbodor. True power of Garbodor. Uh, melting down those metagrosses in the late game. I was just patient. I just waited a little bit. My opponent didn't exploit my deck. And he just decided to concede. So he didn't even get himself a energy. And I had Guzma for the game. So that's it, my friends. That's the GG. I hope you enjoy watching this video. So make sure to hit the thumbs up and sub the channel for more videos. Definitely want to see uh, what you think about this deck in the comments below. So have a nice day till the next time. We'll see you as usual in the next video. So goodbye.